I was able to run away from my house. My house. This person I'm telling you actually got a ring and forced me to do a video which he posted on my page because he has access to my page. He changed all my password, logged me out of every email I have, everything I have, all my phones, my iCloud, everything. I don't have access to anything. I don't, I don't mind. I'm a life to tell you the story. Social media was agog with congratulatory messages on December 15, 2022, following news that Nollywood actress Empress Njama had gotten engaged at 42. A video of the movie star displaying an engagement ring reportedly worth $49,800 flooded the internet space. Fans couldn't be happier after reading the caption, finally off the market. I love you. I got engaged today the 18th. Sit up, sit up, sit up. This year alone, the Nigerian Cameroonian actress regarded as one of the kindest celebrities in the country has been true so much. First. Empress watched her best friend and sister, Ada Ame, pass away slowly from depression. In a viral video after Ada Ame's passing, Empress Njama cried her eyes out while repeatedly saying she didn't know how to continue life without her best friend. Now, seeing news that the actress is engaged and set to walk the aisle, fans were over the moon that their favorite celebrity has finally found love, happiness, and something to smile about this year. Unfortunately, this is far from the truth. Barely 24 hours after the video of her engagement went viral, the 42-year-old Nollywood star from Imo State did a live video on her business page where she called her supposed fiancé an unscrupulous element and scammer. Tearfully sharing her story, the actress said the Liberian man, Josh Wade, came into her life at her most vulnerable, just after losing Ada Ame. He pretended he loved her and wanted to marry her, only to begin terrorizing her life. A guy that one couldn't even call a human being came into my life and pretends of wanting to marry me. I didn't know that he had other motives. And he came when I was very vulnerable. Came into my life, said he could not leave me because I was not okay. I really wasn't okay and was hiding it from the press. The death of my friend broke me down so bad I could not function. Empress said it would abuse her to the slightest provocation and even excommunicated her from family and friends. When the fashion entrepreneur tried to end the relationship, Josh Wade took over her bank accounts, house, car, international passport and other valuables. He also blackmailed her with an explicit video of their intimate moment and forced her to make a video wearing the wedding ring to announce their fake engagement. In my own house, I had access to, I didn't have access to leaving my room. This is a guy who lied to me that when he came to Nigeria, all his things were stolen. His phones, his his credit cards, his clothes, and he, he got into trouble and he needed lawyers, which I, which I gave a huge amount of money, I'm talking millions. He was out, he came to Abuja, started living with me. It looks like this man isn't done with terrorizing the actress. Reacting after Empress shared a heartbreaking story, the supposed fiancé has threatened her again, saying he knows her day-to-day -day activities and she doesn't know what's coming. You actually don't know what's coming. Trust me, I swear to God, you don't know what's coming. Is Empress really being blackmailed by her estranged fiancé? How did the beautiful and elegant Empress Njama get herself into this mess of a relationship? And how are our colleagues and Nigerians reacting to this sad news? Hello guys, it's t -Code here for African Glitz. Empress Njama will easily make the list of beautiful female celebrities in Nigeria, but she has not always been lucky in love. The actress fondly called MP has gone through heartbreak over heartbreaks. One that takes the cake is a much publicized relationship with singer Timaya. After dating for years, the relationship many thought would end on the altar crashed scandalously in 2009. While neither Empress nor Timaya ever really talked about the circumstances surrounding their breakup, the singer, who was bitter at the time, called the actress a thief on a national daily because she refused to return the car he bought her when the going was still good. Timaya would later allege that dating the screen diva affected his life negatively. At the same time, 
Empress, on the other hand, hinted the singer is obsessed with her and has not a single humble bone in his body due to the money he has acquired. Many years after, an Instagram gossip blogger in February 2022 alleged that Nollywood actress Uche Ogodo caused the crash of their relationship after lying that the pregnancy Empress was carrying was for a sugar daddy. Regardless of her ill luck in love, the Nigerian Cameroonian beauty has been fortunate in friendship, courtesy of her late friend Ada Ame. Hey, I wanna love somebody. We Come must, on, babe. Must photo bomb. I wanna get hooked. I somebody. wanna be with somebody. What you guys doing? Yeah, I wanna dance with somebody. Mm. With somebody who loves me. Don't you wanna dance? Starting their acting career almost simultaneously, the two lovely screen characters grew fond of each other and became not just best friends but sisters. Through thick and thin, Empress Njama and Ada Ame supported each other. But in 2020, tragedy struck after Ada Ame lost her only child and fell into severe depression. MP did all she could to help the Johnson star actress get back on her feet. Sadly, the depression would lead to Ada's untimely death on July 17, 2022. It was a dark day for Nigerians, but a darker day for Empress, who was captured crying profusely. <laughs> Even after Ada's burial, the once bubbly and lovely Empress became a total mess and a shadow of herself on social media. Fans began to see fewer and fewer posts from her and they began to ask questions. They began to wonder if the Nollywood actress was still mourning her best friend who would have wanted her to continue live regardless. Shutting down the worries on a November 17, 2022 birthday, the Imo native showed up looking all glam in three gorgeous dresses while thanking God for the gift of life. Of course, fans flooded her comments with birthday wishes, not suspecting anything was wrong or amiss with their fave. Everyone was just happy that Empress Njama was back. Again shutting down the internet on December 15, 2022, the actress got fans overjoyed following a post on her page announcing she was now engaged. In the video captioned, finally off the market, the movie star was captured flaunting an engagement ring, causing social media to erupt with congratulatory messages. Everyone was glad that the actress, who had been through so much, finally found love and something to make her happy. Unfortunately, amidst congratulations, Nollywood actress Uche Elendu raised an alarm that the engagement was false and the public should disregard the post on Empress Njama's page. Before anyone could really understand what was going on, the Nigerian Cameroonian actress switched to her business page. She spilled the shocking details of how her supposed fiancé came into her life when she was vulnerable and had been exploiting and terrorizing her ever since. Calling her supposed fiancé identified as Josh baby brother Wade, an unscrupulous element from Liberia, the screen goddess said he came into her life after Ada Ahmed died and pretended that he loved her and wanted to marry her. At the time, Empress was depressed as Ada's death really broke her. So, the actress just accepted that it was God sent. Sadly, it suddenly turned into something else, hitting her at the slightest provocation, monitoring her every movement and excommunicated her from friends, family and her support system. It only got worse when the Nollywood star got tired of the abuse and told him she wanted to end the relationship. He pulled out an explicit video of them and began blackmailing her into paying him $450,000 in exchange. He then forced her to make a video of a fake engagement while flaunting the ring. On Empress's birthday, the actress said he also beat her up and made her put up a show to family and friends that all was okay even though they suspected foul play. At some point, the actress said she wanted to open up but was too embarrassed, ashamed and scared. In December, the fashion entrepreneur summoned the courage and ran away from her own home with nothing but clothes on her back. The actress had to beg Imalam to use his phone to reach her brother, who later came to pick her up. Even then, the supposed fiancé seized her house, car and important documents and even took over her Instagram page, which he used to share the engagement video she made under duress. This guy came back after looking for me, took my car, took my international passport. He took the remaining money I have left. He took my iPad, he took my AirPods. He had two bags of my of my valuables. Took the car and left. Later responding to the accusations, the supposed fiance in a chat with Linda Ikeji blog claimed they got engaged on August 18, 2022. 
According to the Liberian man, they were planning to wed in February next year but called it off after he caught the actress cheating on him. He even insisted he had an explicit video of Empress with other men she cheated on him with and admitted hitting her. He then asked her to return the $450,000 he reportedly loaned her for business. On a part, Empress claimed the man is lying about her owing him money, insisting he owns nothing and she has been the one taking care of his needs financially. The actress then warned others who are falling prey to her estranged fiancé, especially her colleagues, to come out and speak the truth. According to the movie star, she has seen explicit videos of her colleagues with a man and knows he's blackmailing them too. Afterwards, he had my naked videos and he changed. He started hitting me and when I wanted to talk and tell him this can't work, he blackmailed me with my own videos and said I'm going nowhere. I noticed that he also had loads of videos of other people. I saw most of my colleagues. I saw their chat. I saw everything. And I know those people could not speak up because they were scared. After which the Black Widow actress promised fans she would be fine even though she is a total wreck at the moment. The rest of the story and the details are told to the appropriate persons. But for now, I needed to clear the air and go to my page and see the video he posted. Does that look like something I will post? I was on the Durex posting that video called Engagement. The ring that he got was fading my hands and each time I looked at my hands, it was burning. You could not afford that ring, obviously, but I couldn't talk. It's not easy telling a story in a society where a lot of people will only criticize you and say all kinds of things. Empress shocking and sad story has been followed with mixed reactions on social media, many of who have only negative things to say to her. Reacting on Twitter, a user wrote, Timaya really swear for you, that's all I can say. Also reacting, another user wrote, Why did you allow him to make naked videos of you? I've been so the thing sweet you rich. You left all the good men in Nigeria and fell in love with a foreign dude or scammer online. I am sure if it was a Nigerian, you will torment him instead of helping him the way you helped the Liberian. Also tweeting, another wrote, My little two cents on Empress Njama's heartbreaking voiced out video. Desperation for marriage has done a lot of harm to ladies. If she isn't desperate, she wouldn't have fell so deep into such a scam of a story of the guy. Dubious people put charms in their tongue, Sha. Regardless of the numerous hate comments, some people have just love and light for the actress. One wrote, If what Empress Njama said is true, then there is no reason why she shouldn't be speaking to police and Interpol to track this guy down. This is so unfair and heartbreaking. You can feel the hurt in her voice and see it in her eyes. Some guys are terrible, to be honest. Also reacting, another user tweeted, OMG, Empress Njama doesn't deserve this. She went from mourning her best friend to being blackmailed. May God punish that man. One also wrote, You don't know how lucky you are if you have found true love. If you date in your 20s, you will see Shege. You decide to take your time and get to 40s. You might still see premium Shege. Last last, there is no manual for love. Dear Empress Njama, stay strong sis. Praying for the actress, another user tweeted, I pray Empress Njama finds the strength to defend herself and expose that guy. She has really been through a lot and doesn't deserve to be going through this with someone she trusted enough to let her into her home. As for the pomo mouth of a fiancé, Kama will deal with him. Many have also pointed out that if Empress Njama's best friend, Ada Ame, was still alive, a man like this would never have come close to her. Talk more about dating her. While Nigerians continue to react to the actress's 2022 sad tale, she and her family and friends continue to beg the police to arrest her estranged fiancé. But it looks like nothing is being done. The man continues to send threatening messages to Empress. In one of them, it could be seen saying, Everything that I said to you, I think you consider it to be a joke, but trust me, it's not a joke. I know your day-to-day -day activities, I know everything you do on your daily basis. You're facing Akira, you're facing Days, you're facing Dad, everything. I know absolutely everything. Thank you. What is sad tale of love, right? Tell us what you think about Empress Njama's engagement video and claims that it's now fake. Are you surprised the Nollywood actress fell in love this easily and was able to give the man access to a private life, including a home, passport, and Instagram password? 
would you say she's a victim of desperation or vulnerability? Share your opinion in the comment section down below. If you found this video informative, please comment, like and share. Also, don't forget to hit the subscribe button to be notified every time I upload a new video so that you don't miss out. Thanks for watching and see you on our next one.